Revolutionary greetings, brothers and sisters. All power to all people. This is your Shadow Media Block Report. What you're witnessing right now is a scene that plays out on the streets of the One Mile Square area of Skid Row every morning since our former police chief Bratton instituted the Safer Cities Initiative. This particular illegal shakedown led to the arrest of Bilal Ali. Brother Jojo was on scene. I guess they're making him break his shit down, but he, ha he didn't have his tin up. But they hey, they said they're taking him to jail. Uh, they're taking him to jail for sleeping on the sidewalk. That's right, brothers and sisters. They will take you to jail simply for not having a home and having to sleep on the sidewalk. You see, under the Safer Cities Initiative, which has been continued by our current police chief, Beck, and hailed as a rousing success by our idiot neoliberal mayor, Villagrosa, the streets of Skid Row have become a laboratory for a failed policing philosophy known as the broken windows theory, the concept of which is deceivingly simple. To stop major crimes, you must first prevent small signs of disorder from proliferating, such as graffiti, litter, panhandling, public urination, or, yes, sleeping on public sidewalks. Now, while this model of policing purports to make the community safer, in practice, it has served to further repress those who are most vulnerable among us. To break it down in plain proletariat English, here's Pete White, founder of Los Angeles Community Action Network. In the city of Los Angeles, being the homeless capital of the country, has abandoned the issue of poverty and houselessness. Um, not only have they abandoned the issue of poverty and houselessness, um, they have also sent the dogs, them dogs would be the LAPD, on a 50 square block area called Skid Row in downtown Los Angeles. At the launch of SDI, there was over 1,000 arrests per month and 1,200, 1,200 tickets given for things like smoking a cigarette when the ash falls on the ground, you find yourself in handcuffs face down and oftentimes headed to jail. We talking about full scale repression on people who are poor and otherwise disconnected from this large gluttonous system called the LA City Machine. Right on, Brother Pete. The people took to the streets to demand Brother Belial's immediate release and with some very generous donations from some very good friends of the people were even able to post bail for him. Then what you gonna do? <laughs> well, Brother Belial is once again breathing free air. His blankets have yet to be released. I know it seems like a lot, brothers and sisters. Overwhelming. 120 extra police in a 50 square block radius whose only job is to criminalize the community so they can move them out and make the area more attractive for developers. But we want to show you something, brothers and sisters. We want to show you how the people can win. Especially since the people are planning a sit-down strike. We will not remove our belongings. We will not take our tents down. We will occupy and exercise our human right to housing. Join us, brothers and sisters. Fourth in town. La 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 la